But like when you add it all up, you're getting a lot of students every single month. Multi-channel marketing is extremely powerful. It's impossible for you to do everything. I had to allow the business to really grow and thrive. That was a really important lesson. I would say you have to be willing to spend real money on marketing if you want to get real results. It's a little scary, especially if you've never spent a lot of money on marketing before, because maybe in your mind you thought you couldn't afford it or it's too much of a risk, but it's, it's, it's worse to spend a little and not get any result than it is to spend a lot and get explosive results. You cannot just dip your toe in the water. You, you just have to jump in. And when you're considering your marketing budget, you need to think about what is the ROI, not what is the cost. And so one big thing that I learned is that it, I'm a big believer in multi-channel marketing. So there's not just one thing that you're gonna do that's gonna make you explode. It's actually a lot of different things, right? And there's a lot of reasons for this. One of which is, you know, you never know when one channel that you were marketing and could just go away, right? And now you have to, now you don't have that means to get students there anymore. But another is each channel is, is you know, like if you get one student from, you know, from a flyer over here and you get three students from, you know, this newspaper ad over there, or, or maybe you have a, you know, Google ads where you're getting 10 students over here. But like when you add it all up, you're getting a lot of students every single month. And so that's why multi-channel marketing is extremely powerful. It works. It creates stability in your growth. And so it's really, really important. The next thing that I learned, the second thing that I learned is I had to learn how to take myself out of the operations of my business to work on the business instead of in the business. Uh, you hear about this a lot, you know, like in, I think that book, The E-Myth talks a lot about that is, you know, as you grow and as you scale, you have to learn how to like remove yourself from the operations because it's just too consuming. It's, it, you know, there's always something to do. There's always an email that you got to respond to or a phone call or a teacher or this or that. And it's like, it never ends. And so it's impossible for you to do everything. And it's impossible for you to scale and grow your business if you're in it and you're doing all of the operations. So number two, you really have to learn how to work on the business and not in the business. The third thing that I learned is that I had to let go the, 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 this need to be the nice guy or to be the guy that everyone loves and likes. I couldn't let the parents bully me around on my policy and just say, hey, we, you know, we don't want to we don't want to show up this week, but we don't want to deal with the consequences of that, right? Like with the makeup policy, or maybe they didn't have the money to pay on the first. And so they wanted to pay on the 15th or like whatever the excuse was like just this need to be liked or be the nice guy by the parents. It's like, you got to let that go and you have to stand by your policy. And I really had to learn that because especially when you're leading a staff where you're expecting them to enforce the policy. Well, if you're not willing to enforce the policy, then you know, you're, you're going to have problems. And so on that same line, the fourth thing that I learned was that I, I, I couldn't let the teachers, you know, bully me or dictate how the school was going to be run based on their opinion of what's right or wrong or good or bad or, you know, whatever their opinion was, because I always have an opinion, right? I had to just stay true to my vision and keep moving forward and remember that their job is to teach, not to run the school. And so, so it, it was very, very important to keep them in their category of teachers and not advisors. The fifth thing that I learned is I tried not to get too emotional about operations because the more emotional that I get, the, the less profitable I am. The one, one, one helpful trick is just to, to, to look at the next item on the list and just, you know, next, next up, next up. Next up. And if something isn't working, you, you just have to throw it out and just say next up and keep moving forward and not be so emotional about all the things that come and go. A teacher complaint or maybe a, or a parent complaint or maybe a teacher leaves because they don't like the way you operate or, you know, all those different things you just can't get emotional about. You just got to say next, next thing on the list. I got to keep moving forward and it will serve you well. The next thing that I learned is, which is kind of a counterintuitive thought, number six, is the further away I move from the operations of my business, the faster I would grow. But the closer I get back into the operations of my business, 
the slower, like it would just slow things down. And sometimes it messed things up. Sometimes you can actually be a barrier to growth because you're trying to hold everything together. You're trying to control everything, not trust your people as you're continuing to scale and grow. And so I really learned that I had to step back from the business. I had to allow the business to really grow and thrive. And, and so that was a really important lesson is just pulling back from the operations of the business to allow people to allow my team and my staff to continue to grow. And the last thing I'll, I'll leave you with is the number seven, which is the, what I learned is that we're not in the business of music lessons. Not really, not really. We're in the business of making our customers happy, making our customers happy, right? Happy students, happy kids, happy moms, happy parents, because if they're happy and if they're having a great time and they're actually enjoying the experience with your school and with the teachers and with the recitals and with whatever rewards program you have, whatever it is that you have, if they're happy and they're engaging and they're excited, then they're going to stay with you and they're going to tell other people about you and they're going to enjoy the experience. So remember the business that you're really in. You're in the business of making your customers happy and fulfilled and continuing to grow your business. So hopefully that's helpful for you. Hey, if you want to take the BAM Squad for a test drive, click the link down below for a free trial and hopefully you'll get a lot of benefit from it. Thanks for watching.